All right, going to do a video exposing the very strange distinction that Mormonism makes between the resurrection of the saints and the actual eternal life that's given. Because uh, Mormonism is, is basically a counterfeit to biblical Christianity, I'll put it that way. And this very weird, because Mormonism is all kinds of strange doctrines, but one of the things they actually uh, believe about salvation is they actually believe that essentially divine salvation is unconditional for the resurrection, uh, but conditional for eternal life. What? A bit of a weird contradiction right there. But in their own texts, uh, and funny because it's no different than Calvinism, it's essentially just kind of a, a moderate version of the Calvinist unconditional election. But essentially what they believe is that uh, salvation is universal immortality and resurrection to live in one of the three degrees of glory, that is by grace alone. That's, that's one, of, one of it is. And it's given to everyone except certain apostates who really should have known better. In other, in this other sense, so in that sense, Mormonism has a universal type of salvation. But in the other sense, salvation in Mormonism is about making it to the highest kingdom, the celestial kingdom. And the latter is dependent on grace through faith and one's works. And this is in uh, 2nd Nephi 25-23 and Doctrines and Covenants 76 verses uh, 40 down to verse 44. So they believe in this really weird distinction between the two of the resurrection being unconditional. Essentially, it's, you know, there's no condition to it. But then the eternal life is conditional. Weird. Very, very strange. I mean, there's no, really, there's no way to really make any sense of that. Uh, in the Bible, the resurrection of the saints is actually because they are saved and going to heaven. There's no, there's no difference between the two. If you're given eternal life, you're going up at the resurrection comes after there's no there's not a thing where the resurrection is essentially what it is it's just repackaged un, it's repackaged conditional security conditional security is a uh, mormon heresy but uh, essentially like i said resurrection of the saints is because they are saved and going to heaven and be given eternal life is what makes the resurrection of the dead and the living saints too fixed and predestined uh, romans chapter 8 verse 21 to 30 says because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corrupt, corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. Already saved people uh, ad being addressed in this, this text here. For we, are, for we are saved by hope, but hope... That hope, a hope that uh, is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that, we for the, if we, if we hope for that, sorry, we see not. Then do we with patience wait for it? Likewise, the Spirit also also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we as we ought. Uh, but the Spirit itself maketh maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth uh, what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he he also called, and whom and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Okay, when you're saved, you're going up at the rapture because this is a verse that Calvinists like using, a uh, verse 28 or, or sorry 29 to 30. They like using that text to try to prove the unconditional election, but in context, it's saying about if you're already saved, you're predestined to be conformed to the image of Christ. When does that happen? At the resurrection, also called the rapture. Another scripture on the matter. Ephesians 1 verse 3 down to verse uh, 14 it says uh, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good uh, pleasure of his will to be the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved in whom uh, we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace wherein he hath abounded he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence uh, having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he hath uh, purposed in himself that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in christ which uh, which sorry both which are in heaven 
and which are on earth, even in him, in whom uh, also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose, or according to the purpose of him, who worketh all things after the counsel of his will, that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ, in whom you also trusted, after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that you believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance, until the redemption of the purchased possession, unto the praise of his glory. Now again, verses 11 and verses 3 to 4 are taken out of context by the Calvinists uh, to say that you're basically chosen for salvation in this unconditional election. But in context, it's talking about how you're already saved and, and by extension, you're predestined to go up at the resurrection. You know, the redemption of the purchased possession. That's the redemption of your corrupt bodies of flesh at the rapture. So resurrection is, if you're going up, if you're going up at the resurrection, it means you're already saved. There's no... Uh, different distinction between one being conditional and one being unconditional. It's a bunch of uh, heresy of Mormonism. That's all it is. Uh, further showing that Mormonism is a counterfeit to the biblical truth taught in the New Testament, the biblical form of Christianity. Mormonism is just one of the numerous cults started in the 1800s that was an attempt to try to hinder the revival going on. So anyway, don't be deceived by Mormonism and all of its strange, weird, false doctrines and heresies. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.